everybody to Stray, where hopefully we're going to finish off this game today. Actually, we are. We're going to finish off this episode because I say so. Hello? Anybody here? Hey, I'm off to work. See you later. Okay, honey, be cautious of the Sentinels. They are quick to make arrests for no reason. Don't worry about me, babe. I'm good. I'm better than good. I'm robo good. What are you guys all up to? Hello? Talk to me. I'm cute. Hmm. Consider this. Tomorrow, if I replace my arm with another robotic arm, and then the next day, my other arm too, and then my body, and so on, until I've replaced all my parts and upgraded my software, will I still be the same robot you're talking to now? Dude, you're reading a book about how to be a ninja. How does that factor into any of this? Whoa, the outside. Wow, cows! You remember cows? I remember cows. It was like... Oh, sorry, sorry. I talked to you again by accident. Cows are like me, the cat, but bigger. Kinda. Anywhere else I can go? You got anything in here? You got any snacks? You got any treats? Robot oil? You shouldn't leave that lying around. A cat could eat that, no problem. I want to mess up all your ram sticks. Is that cool? You good with that? Okay, thanks, bud. Thank you. I made my point. He won't mess with me again. This place is cool. It's very, uh, in-depth, though. At NicoCore, we work all day long to gather the waste and send it downstairs where they recycle and repurpose it. Sure they do. Speaking of downstairs, it's been a while since we had news from them. Yeah, doesn't that send off any red flags, any alarm bells? Everybody's dead or dying or both? Could be. <clears throat> Sorry, little one. You can't play over here. The NicoCore factory is no place for a fuzzball like you. Access is restricted, but only for a little while. If you can wait a few years, we'll be right back up. We'll be open right back up. A few years? I don't have those types of times. I'm a cat. A few years to me is like 70 years. Warning, no trespassing. New course protected by security sentinels. Yup, yup, yup. Hello? Can I have access to the nukes? Give me the codes, I know you have them. I'll be responsible. What do you think I'm gonna do? <gasps> I can jump in a box. <laughs> That's so fun. Dun, 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 dun. Look, I'm like a Beyblade inside. <laughs> ha! You didn't even know I was in there. I love when BB does that. Every single time without fail, if you get a box, probably the same with every cat but every single time we have an amazon package or something delivered and we open up the box he's just like is that for me i'm busy what do you want i want to i want you to play with me in the box he doesn't even do anything in the box either he just goes into it and i think it's like it like shuts down his sensory senses <laughs> it's like it's sensory overload to be a cat in a modern world and i think <clears throat> when he gets in the box it kind of like dulls that a little bit so he can just be a bit more normal. Whoa, what's this? Club? Club's closed. Get lost. God, I want to get in there. <clears throat> I want to get my pussy popping. And by that, I mean cat. Really feels like being in Japan. So fun. Hey, what's up, conehead? You've been in the city below? I had a friend there. Fifi. Or Fi-Fi. I haven't seen him in ages. Yeah, people talked about them when I was down there. They said that they died a horrible death. Nah, I'm just joking. I'm a cat. I don't know anything. Can I have an energy drink again? Man, if I could get all the energy drinks up here and bring them back down to that guy? If you're looking for some company to talk about poetry, I live behind the elevator. Bonobot. Don't we know a Bonobot already? Okay. I'll find you anyway, because I'm just going to search everything. Oh. Get in there out of the rain. Oh, there's a picture of a cat on that wall. <clears throat> or on the door. The cat in, like, sunshine. Or is that a cat person? It's confusing. 
Now I'm all wet. I used to own a bar. It was the coziest place around here. Until I took a screwdriver in the knee. And <laughs> it's closed now. Is that a Skyrim reference? Yeah, people were screaming about the... The Back to the Future reference in the previous episode. The Doc is just the Doc from Back to the Future. He's even wearing the same outfit and had the same hair. And he had the defluxer, which is the flux capacitor. And then Seamus was dressed like Marty McFly. It's It's been a very long time since I've seen anything got to do with those movies. And I'm actually convinced I've never seen a full Back to the Future movie start to finish. I probably have, but I was so young that I can't remember. Even if this guy bums me out, he's my only customer. Try not to scare him away, please. Or you'll do that yourself. Your name is Glack. It's a scary name. That's what I'm trying to say. My god, this place is huge. I'm gonna get so lost. Hey, what's up? Isn't it so cool right now? Are you guys vaping? So chill. I think that nothing bad could happen to us. You shouldn't say that, because that exactly means that something bad is going to happen to you. Your your Mo and Joe, your Mojo. You need to get your Mojo back. Whoa, this place is huge. I am so lost already. Hey. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> I lie on you now and I fall asleep. Thank you. <laughs> it is very nice when a cat does that, though. If the cat jumps up on you and falls asleep, that rhythmic purring, and you're just sitting there and they're nice and warm and you're just sitting on the couch. It's lovely. It's very nice. Okay, thank you, kind sir. I gotta leave now. Thank you for the sleeps. Oh, big stretch right in his face. <laughs> nice. Hello. Whoa, what is that? It's like a Korean ghost story picture. Sorry, shop's closed. I'm waiting for the delivery guys, but it seems they're taking their sweet time. You're just a hater, bro. Oh, Hattor. I want a hat. Look at all those sweet hats! I wish you could customize your cat. I wonder why they didn't include an option to, like, make the cat whatever color you want, paint, like, the stripes. Like, you can't put your own cat into the game. I wonder why they didn't do that. Other than, like, it takes longer to do that. People are also saying that this saves your game. Does it? Last checkpoint, 13 minutes ago. No. People lie. Of course they do. They're liars. Are you one of those young punks listening to loud music all day? I'm a cat, bro. Don't touch anything. Don't make any noise. Don't ask for credit. Okay. What if I steal the jacket? I wasn't actually going to steal it. I was just... Talking about it. No, 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 you're not gonna steal that. Dang it. I need that jacket, presumably, for a thing later. What if I turn on some loud music? You see what you're looking up on your computer? I could tell everybody what's in your history. Fine, I leave and figure out what to do with you later. God. Whee! At least there's no verticality to this place. Going through the last area, as soon as I realized I could, like, go up and climb on the roofs, it was, it was too scary. <laughs> to hell with the sentinels! Long live the outsiders! Yeah! Outsiders! Outsiders! Let me up. Oh, food! Yeah, what are we eating? Nothing? Cool. There should be a section in this game where you get to go chase mice or eat rats or something. Hold on. Up we go to Secrets Untold. I just said it was nice that I couldn't go up. It's too much stimulus for me. Too many places to go. Might have six secrets though. 
Oh, this is gonna have something really cool up here. Don't you guys worry about it. It's gonna be dope. I can already tell. It's gonna be like a cat jetpack or a new bike. Or like uh, a lint roller. Wait, is it anything? Is this the end? What is the point of being up here? Other than looking cool. I mean, I can survey the area, but I was already down there. Huh. Cool? Am I dumb? I don't know. Maybe it's something. We'll come back later. If it is. Can't go in there. Whoa, this is intense. Hey guys, can I just walk right in? Thank you. I guess not. Let me try it again. Nope, not working. Okay. I'll come back later. I love all the lights. The little reflections on the ground. It reminds me of, um... Have you played that Sleeping Dogs game? For some reason, the lighting and... The little puddles and the reflections and everything in it reminds me a lot of that. I mean, it obviously reminds me of Cyberpunk as well, but... It reminds me more of Sleeping Dogs. Do not proceed further! The access to the outside is fully restricted and the elevator has been disabled. The exterior is unsafe. Do not proceed further. Oh, he's mad. He's real mad about that. Can I jump in his car? That would have been sick. Hold on. Hold on. This has to be something. Jump onto the car. They'll never know. You'll be able to sneak inside. Kind of wish those did something. Keep feeling like I'm jumping up onto stuff and it doesn't let me do anything. Can I go under the car? Oh, that's a bad idea. <laughs> and Carol, drive over you. Hello! You know what, my friend? Stay away from the Sentinels. They're vicious, and they got my buddy Pablo. He's in for 30, 350 years! Jeez, how long would a cat get sent away for? I just walked near the elevator and I got yelled at by the Sentinels. For years we've been told that the surface is uninhabitable. We just accept this as fact, but why? I don't know, probably is uninhabitable. But I will find out for you! Super cat. Hey there! <laughs> what can I do for you tonight, chef? I thought you were trying to say chief. That sentence fucked me up. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, you've just- you just got catted, bro! You didn't even know what just happened. Messed up your stuff. Is there anything in here? <laughs> Daily menu. Dry air and a bowl of hot oil. Extra quality. Now, that's good living. Maybe I can come back with an item if I have it. It's a big place. I didn't go down this way, though. Howdy, Mojo! Oh, that yellow cable goes to something. Anybody speak cat in here? Hey, dumb face! We can see you too! Oh. Yeah, stick it to the man! Damn, I love your color scheme. Life is boring since the Sentinels put cameras up in our residence. Yeah, that'll do it. Hey, those tapes are ours. Don't you know not to steal? I could give you one, but you'll have to do something for Jean Ma, Miko, and me. The Sentinels have installed three security cameras to watch over us. We don't like that at all. Can you get them off our backs? Dude, don't you even worry. Does a cat sleep 16 hours a day? Hell yes! I'll get them off your back. I'll follow that yellow cable up the side of the building. But first, I gotta look around. Because I'm a cute cat and I'll do whatever I want. And then if you give me a cassette tape, 
Does that mean I can go play loud music for Senor Clothing Man? Steal a... Steal a high-vis jacket? Hello? Who's in here? Scratch, scratch! The person you're trying to reach is momentarily unavailable. Timmy, stop messing around. Okay. Up I go! My god, there is a lot to explore around here. This is overwhelming me. Probably all just leads around to the same places too, but still. I got him. I got him. Watch. Ha! Yeah! They were not secured that well at all. Like, really, really poorly. Okay, you're probably better off finding, like, the power supply for all of them, no? Is that just me? What are you guys up to? I'm sorry, I forgot where I put it. But let's play anyway. That's what I'm doing. I will go in that cave. Let's go! Okay. What do you mean you forgot your character sheet? I was playing D&D. I spent the whole week preparing this session. Aren't you guys robots? Can't you just store it away in a hard drive in your head? <laughs> yes! Oh, I can see my cat inside now. You spin me right round, baby. Oh, wait, I'm casting that. It's... There's one thing about, like, there's so many characters to talk to and it's cool that they all have stuff to say, but... Not all of it is, like, useful to me. <laughs> What's that noise? I oiled, I oiled up all my bearings last month. I oiled up all my bearings. I mean, not that everybody has to say something that, like, adds to the story or whatever, but... It's like, it's a lot of people to talk to. But I just want to do missions. Hiya! Got him! That's two! Do you think I have to hide in boxes at some point? Seems like there's sort of a, a stealth thing. Dude, like I can hide in a box to get away from someone. Where be last camera? Did you see it? What are you exactly? A quadruped making cute sounds? I like the concept. I like to think that I'm a human inside a cat's body. I like to think that the person who made this game loves cats so much that they wanted to be a cat. And they set that up with the whole, oh, you're a robot trapped inside the cats, or trapped inside the ro you're a human trapped inside the robot thing. I'm trying to do multiple things at once with my brain and it's not working. Um, okay, third camera. Also, why is this attached to a hose? Was that just your way of showing me that I could go up? Oh, there's the camera. Ah. Hello. Got it. Guys, I did it. I am your savior. No need to thank me. All you need to do is pet me. And then we'll call it even. Hell yeah, boys. Do the robot. Get it? What's up, Simon? Well done. I didn't think you could do it. Here, take your prize. You earned it. Yes. What do we do with the B12? It's a tape. The song is titled My Graphics Card Can't Stop Screaming. <laughs> Given that name, it should play some loud music. There you go. Um, but what are we doing? In general, we need to find a way out of here. As Baltazar mentioned someone named Clementine, she could help us. Let's find her. This picture and the symbols on the back could probably help us somehow. Sure. Alright, I got my cassette, eh? Top, eh? Where do I put it in to play the loud music, though, at the dude's place? Oh, hello. You know, work is work, Slippy. Don't lose your head about it. Huh? Oh my god, you actually put on different heads for haircuts. Ouch! Huh. That's a weird feeling. Probably decapitation. 
if I had to, if I had to guess. Is there anything in these places? Like, it's very fun and flavorful and adds to everything that's going on, but... Sometimes it feels like there's nothing to actually do in some of the places. And then it worries me that I'm missing things. Um... Alright. Let's go... It was here, right? How do I play loud music against you? Maybe in here? Yeah. There we go. Hell yeah! <laughs> he loves it! Woo! Nice, digitize that bad boy. Sick music! Oh, I thought I could talk to that person. Oh man, that was tight though. I wanted to listen to that again. Come on, man. Don't be such a stick in the mud, bro. Have some fun with it. I love that you can just climb shit as a cat because there's no rhyme or reason to it. You just want to do it. Also, fuck that guy. I'm scratching up his couch. I'm taking all these little beads off the side of it. There you go. Ha! Wrecked. What's interesting, though, is now I have a pink high-vis jacket and I... Don't know anybody that needs this. That's a jacket we stole in their shop. Uh huh. Can I give it to somebody who's gonna like put it on and get through a, an area for me? Oh, I didn't go in here. Lots of people in here. Hey, what's up? I tried downloading an aimbot to be the best at this game, but ended up with a malware. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but everything seems odd now. Nice jacket, you work at the factory? Huh. Yes, I do. That kid, that jacket definitely fits me. Oh, you're a shady individual if I ever needed something from them. I've mastered every game that ever existed, but I can't figure out th how this one works. Am I not seeing the whole picture here? What if I showed you guys how to play? That's the wrong way. No, 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 go that way, yep, yep. Boosh! Boosh! You guys see that? Okay, he doesn't care. I even won a dodgeball tournament for bot's sake. Minecraft? I did that! I won a dodgeball tournament, the 20v20, in my Minecraft video! I mean, there's nothing I can't do, so why? What if I give you this? Okay. Cool. I thought I'd show you guys how to play the game and be awesome at it and be the best ever. I don't know, Tonin. I like pretty much everything. Okay. My favorite drink is oil. What's yours, Mimoth? Mimoth? What will it be today, little sir? Our world must seem gigantic from your little eyes. Wish I could be as tiny as you, so I could explore new hidden places. You don't want it, bro. Okay, you guys all give me the same thing. Why am I even able to show you guys this stuff? Are you huffing? Are you doing whippets over here? The fridge. I want in. I want snacks. Nobody's fed me at all in this game yet. Bullshit. Oh, now I got your secrets. I found your secret little drug den. Can't hide it from me anymore. Oh, can't go any further, apparently. Cool. This whole big-ass building and you guys don't really have anything in here for me to interact with? Huh. <laughs> I'll go under your feet. Can I go under the table? <laughs> yes, I can. Oh, hold on. Hold on. There's a lot of stuff to knock over over there. Yes. Yes. Knock it all down. Ruin the establishment. Oh. 
that symbol where I went down and talked to the beatbox boys? That's on the photo. So I gotta go to green, red in here. Somebody else said that it was like the street and then the level and then the apartment number. Ah, right. Wait, so what were the... Hold on. Three dots and then five dots. Got it. So let's have a look. Yeah, so it's the third floor and the fifth door. Well, wherever the fifth door is, but... One, two, three, four, this one. Yeah! Pretty nifty! Whoa! I'm a little... I'm a little kitty cat sleuth! Damn, look at all these details in this kitchen. Posters on the wall, the cracked wall, the tiles, all the little pots and pans, the plants, the little tools. That's so much attention to detail. It's very impressive stuff. Is there anybody in here? Uh oh, I don't trust it. Easy there, bro. I'm just a cat. Don't hit me with Pixar lamp. I thought you were a scent. Never mind. Who are you? Oh, that's Clementine. What do you want? Um, love and affection, but also picture. Wait. So Bal is Baltazar finally decided to send someone? I guess you're my new recruit. You're not very big. How did you even manage the sewers? I guess you must be pretty resourceful. I had a UV lamp, I exploded everything, and then the giant eyeball almost killed me. I've been looking for a way to the outside ever since I left Ant Village, but the Sentinels are always watching. Now that you're here, you can help. Follow me. Do you, I have a... I have a pink high-vis. You can wear that. Wow, you collect a lot of plants. Was it Clementine they said was the one that taught them how to do plants without sunlight? I just want to take a look around your apartment first. This is so cozy! Man! This would honestly be kind of nice to have this in real life. I mean, apart from a lot of the mess that's lying around. But having like a little nook like this, oh! I've always wanted like a loft area where you can sit and the windows are like open above you and they're massive windows, like a stereotypical New York loft. Kind of thing, and having like the rain like pitter patter down on that next to you, be so nice. Maybe you should build like a conservatory in my house. Oh, mine. What's inside that? Nothing. Sounds like you're listening to Persona Five music. Yeah, see, an area like this is so cozy. Wow. I want this. I want like a little loft area. A little place you can go in and lie down on the, on the floor like this and play with your Switch all day, read a book. So cute. Yeah, and then you go sleep next to the window like this. Oh, and then it starts raining. You hear the pitter-patter of it outside. Oh, so nice. This isn't really like fall asleep music though. It's like the lo-fi girl on YouTube. Did you guys see that she got shut down at one point? And then her stream, it's like the first time the stream ever went on offline because of a, oh, big stretch. Because of a bullshit copyright claim. And then <laughs> it showed that the stream had like, like so many views, like a hundred million views or 900 million views or something. And then it was like, the stream has been alive, or been up, for so many thousands of hours. It was crazy. I've been working on a plan to use this old subway for a while now. I even have the keys to start it. Sick. All we need is an atomic battery to power it. I thought you were going to say an atomic bomb, and I was like, alright, I'm out. <laughs> I know Nico Core has one secured inside their factory. I have a contact who can help us infiltrate them. I don't know his name. He's the robot with a bomber jacket and a gold chain. Take this message to him. 
Bomber jacket and gold chain. Okay, I haven't already seen him. That just looks like it says note. <laughs> Gained new item. Okay, I'm assuming he knows how to read this. Someone small and swift like you should have no trouble sneaking inside the factory. One last thing, don't hesitate to ask around for help. The city is full of information. Just stay clear of the sentinels. You got it, Clementine. This is what happened after The Walking Dead. Clementine died and just put their consciousness into a robot. Oh, you look so peaceful at your computer like that. Man, that would be a nice thumbnail, wouldn't it? Are you on the wall? I wish I could like read some of this or kind of glean more information out of it, but since it's all just a made-up language, it's basically impossible. Wait, so you're heavily wanted and you're just sitting in an apartment like this and no one's found you? I guess because the place looks abandoned. Okay, bomber jacket, gold chain. Um, I'm assuming you're not just going to be in this building because that would make things a little bit too easy. But on the off chance... Oh, can I get down easily here? Yes. Bomber jacket, gold chain? Yeah, bomber jacket, gold chain, bomber jacket, gold chain. Gotta find him so we can do the fucking thing. <laughs> Thanks guys, I'll be here all day. Bomber jacket gold chain. Bomber jacket gold chain. Is that you? That's a golden jacket with no chain. Okay. Look, cat's eyes are not that good. They're great in the dark, but I remember reading up some stuff about it, because I was like, how do cats see in the dark? Like give me a visualization of it. And then I found out that Cats probably don't, they see better in the dark than we do, but their vision is actually kind of blurry at a shorter distance than I thought. Like, humans have great eyes. Whoa, 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 hater. Nobody can answer the shop while it's being restocked. Hey, 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 come on now, I'm your friend. <laughs> I knew this would work eventually. Pick me up and put me inside, Metal Gear Solid style. But yeah, apparently cats can't see very well, very far. And a lot of their stuff is kind of based on movement. Is no one going to pick me up? Hello? Should I hide in a different box? I've been waiting for ages for Stuplachi, Stuplache, to get back and help me restock these hats. The boss is not happy. That guy's slacking off at the bar again. He's another thing coming. At the bar, you say? I was just there! Wait, that's not you guys, is it? Who are you? Hello? Is this not the bar? This looks like the bar. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Hello? Can I do anything with him? WAKE UP! WAKE UP! Maybe now I can climb up on stuff and knock something on his head! That's why it's here! Ooh INCOMING! <laughs> climb on his back. Howdy! All right, I'll go on ahead. You make your way over. I'll hide in the box, and then things will be golden. And then I'll get inside the hat store, and I'll get a hat for myself, and then I'll be high society, and then everyone will have to listen to the cat. Come on out here, stupid Shay. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> here he comes, walking down the street. Whoa. Look at that cinematic shot. Pick me up, boys! I've got places to be. <laughs> okay. 
Am I being picked up now? Yeah! Oh, now it's... This is what it's like to be at their level! Yes, I have infiltrated the hat store. You need to wait for that guy to come just to lift up a box. By the time it took him to come over, you could have lifted all the boxes. <laughs> now I will have a hat. A hat just for me. A cat hat, if you will. I'm gonna leave my mark, too. I don't need to be hidden, do I? I don't need to be hidden from the main guy. You're all right, stupid Shay. Nice. What was the point of that? Oh. I'm sneaking. <laughs> it always looks like he has his tongue sticking out. Is this just so I have access to this place now? What kind of hat would you like, sir? Welcome to the hat store. I am the cat in the hat, and I'll give you everything that you need today. Maybe it's something that I need to come back to again. All I know is, I'm a genius. Okay, bomber jacket gold chain. Let me find that first. Is it you? <gasps> you have a gold chain! And a... Is that... I guess that is a bomber jacket. Looks more like a hoodie to me. I'm busy, what do you want? Shh! I have secrets. Where did you get that? Oh, you're with the outside... My contact. Let me brief you about the atomic battery. Dude! You gotta be quiet about that. You can't just be talking about atomic batteries out in the open. The battery is powering the Nico Core factory right there. This whole area is restricted and heavily guarded. They check every person who enters and turns away anyone who is not a worker. I have a jacket. Here's an idea. Give me a worker jacket and a worker helmet while I stay back here and find a good time to enter. Okay, so that's probably why I'm able to get stupid Shay's stuff, right? Why I'm able to go in here. Oh, that's a lot of boxes. Oh, wait, no, I thought you were wearing a hat. Who's wearing a hard hat? Oh, wait, I'm in the hat store. <laughs> There has to be a hard hat somewhere in here, right? Or did he say a hard hat or just a worker hat? I can't remember now. I can't do anything with any hats in here. Oh, yes I can. I didn't even see that prompt before. Okay, I did it. I sneaked. I come back and he's like, whoa, you did that really quick. How did you do that? <laughs> There you go. Perfect. That jacket is exactly what we need. I get dressed now. Mind turning around? <laughs> sure. No. Yeah, keep your decency. Yeah, I don't want to... Is that good? Okay. Wow, look at you. Apart from the smell, no one would be able to tell. Do you have a syringe tattooed on your arm? These are great. A little snug around the waistline, but it'll do. Okay, hop in this box and I'll sneak you across the checkpoint. Oh, and now it's all coming together. All these like little bits and pieces of things that I found. Now it's like, now I get why I'm able to do those. Nice. Behind enemy lines, baby. This is exactly what it would look like if I was controlling him. Which, when you think about it, if the cat did all this and now he's doing it, and I've kind of forced him to do it, aren't I technically controlling him? Controlling everyone in this game. I was kind of hoping I could put on the outfit as the cat and have the cat go, I work here. Cool, so glad you don't need any more checks than that. Hey, psst. I'm with the resistance. Oh God, oh, I'm gonna get caught. How do I get out of here? Oh God, oh. Bye. Oh, never mind. I was just gonna say I think I done fucked it. I knew I had to hide in them for some sort of stealth. No one 
it's here! <sighs> Can't believe that worked. Ah! <laughs> Run! Okay, oh, this is gonna get very annoying. Okay, let's... No! Hide in the box! What are you doing?! Just, just fucking run. Just... Okay, that's really fucking annoying. Have me press triangle or something to get into the box. Why is it the same button as to get up on something right next to it? That was frustrating. You'll never catch me alive! <laughs> I'm so speedy! Okay, here I'm safe. And then I jump. And then I jump. And then I jump. And then I jump. And then I jump in here. Oh, that was close. And then jump out. And then I jump. And then I jump. And then I jump. Perfection! Don't screw me over this time. Hey. What's going on? Hey! Good thing you're here. You can help me. I lost the keys to my place in this dark and huge factory. Sentinels refused to help me. They told me, if no place to go, more work here. If by any chance you could help me, then I'll be eternally grateful. Fine, I'll find your keys. I'll save the president's daughter. I'll disarm the nukes and I'll cure cancer at the same time. Why not? The cat's doing everything in this game. I don't know where the hell I'm going right now, but I I just be clicking things. You could probably just jump on his head though. Kill him outright. Just kill him stone dead. Oh, hold on. There's a switch here. Hey uh dude, if you want me to find your keys and I have to do it here, that's probably not gonna happen because I kinda just want to continue the story. Oh, yeah. That and the fact that now it feels like there's a time pressure on me, and that's terrifying. Can I just go around that? Like here? <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, I see real good. Good security bots you guys got here. Oh, you don't see anything. You don't see anything. You don't see anything. I forgot how shadows work. <laughs> I'm a cat. What else do you expect from me? Though I am incredibly clever for my size. Ha! Maybe these keys are somewhere around here. <gasps> I think I see them. Oh, but that would mean going back. Wait, how in the bloody hell am I even supposed to do that? Can I just sprint? You guys don't see anything. You guys don't see anything. Uh-oh. 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 That was a mistake. That was a mistake. The mistakes were made on that one. You can't catch me. I'm a gingerbread cat. Sneaky like a fox! That was sick! I have them! No, wait, you found them! Thanks so much, I've been stuck at work for so long. Come here, I have something to give you in return. Cool, a fucking pin. I am not the right type of gamer to be giving those to, because I really don't care about pins and collectibles. <laughs> nice. Nice. Sick. Uh, but I'm glad I got it at the same time. Hmm. Anything back here? Ah, what is this? <laughs> what did I do? Oh, is this a shortcut back to the other section? Huh. Pretty neat, I guess. Nice. I'm a little kitty cat. I'm a little kitty cat. I'm a fucking little kitty cat. Okay. 
Nice. Then you just get in the barrel. You go through this. It's not going to detect a barrel. It's just going to be like, oh, shame. Trash rolled over. Oh, no. No organic matter detected. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm smarter than everybody in existence. Okay. Okay. No, I get it. I get it. How are you going to help me turn on all three, though? Okay. What the hell is happening? What is this main thing? I need a second one! Okay, you, you stay right there. I'll turn you off. Actually, what happens if I stand on you? Not a whole lot. Can you go through there? Probably not. Okay. We're gonna have to finish to fix this sitch. All right, come this way. I don't even know what you do. Are you like cleaning or what's happening? And stop. There's a second guy in here. I gotta save our soldiers from prison. Follow me, please. We've got work to do. Oh, stepping on a switch does that thing. Got it. Got it. Now you come this way. You step on this one. I am the world's most genius cat. Oh, but I gotta keep that there. Hmm. Barrel time! Ow! Okay, got hurt for barrel, but that's fine. Nice, nice. <laughs> Whoa, I knew it. The nukes. The atomic batteries. Oh, Christ. Everyone's going to start coming out with AK-47s to chase down this cat now. We got it. Quick, let's get out of here before the sentinels show up. I've gotta get this factory back to Clementine. You got it, Bookaroo! Okay, nothing down there. That was easy. Whoa! That's sick looking! Whoa, that's nuts! Is that where I was? In the long, long ago? In the far down below? In the deep down, dark deep down? Oh yeah. It's all coming together. That was cool. I like that. I am the coolest, sneakiest, stealthiest cat that anyone in this planet has ever seen. You think cats just got super intelligent since humans disappeared? We were actually holding them back. Oh crap, I can't go in there. What's going on? Do you think the criminal is eyeing my collection of vintage cards? I don't know, are they first edition Charizards? All this work for nothing. Can I go in? Oh. They don't give a shit about me, I'm just a cat. Oh. There's more sneaky boys. Now I have to do some climbing. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. God fucking damn it. Whoa! Whoa! Look out! They're crazy! They're shooting everybody! Okay, am I safe to go back in there? Hello, thank you. Oh wait, he's right there. I didn't even realize he was still there. I was like, why can I still see his light? I was hoping I could trick him. And then I could sneak in past him. Because if I sneak, say, sneak in past him, then I wouldn't have to worry about him patrolling. Remain cam! A search operation is ongoing. Do you think they found weed? Why is that robot not going back? Go back already! There's nothing for you to do here! Shit.
There we go. Fixed it. <laughs> now, how do I climb up? <laughs> Come on, you can get up on that from here. Don't make like life difficult for no reason. Fine, I'll use the stairs. What's the point of even being a cat if you can't do cat things? You know? Hold up! Is there anywhere to go from here? I go this way. There's nothing over here. He's not very good about covering, like, all angles, are you? That guy just went right by me. Ah, crap! It's not where I meant to jump. It's okay, I'm safe. I'm safe. I'm safe right here. They can't get me right here. I am safe. Stay here. Never move ever again. Everything's chill right now. Okay, I guess I gotta go up the stairs again. I thought I had to, like, climb the whole building Assassin's Creed style and look all cool doing it. But I'm just climbing stairs like a stupid moron. This is bad. If he decides to turn around. Oh, now I can do this. <laughs> they never suspected a thing. Oh, Clemmy! I'm here, and I have the atomic bomb. Clem? Hmm, I'm sign a Clementine. Oh, what's that? It looks like some kind of a coded message. We're going to have to play detective to figure out what happened to her. Look. For B12 and the cat, the answer lies in my stuff. And then there's four symbols. It's signed Clementine, take a look. Oh my god. You couldn't have just been here, you had to run away. Okay, plant, plant, bong, lava lamp. Okay. Cool, got it. There's lava lamp there, so that's number four. Oh, wait, hold on. You found something? Hmm, I don't see anything, are you sure? Uh, desktop wall saver background. <laughs> wall saver? <laughs> Wallpaper, screensaver, it's all the one. Ugh. Huh? What an odd thing to have in an apartment. Is this the way the companions here see humans? It's kind of funny. Look, something's being left here. It says, blah, 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 come to. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I guess that was one of the hints. Look, a toilet. I could just go around and inspect on everything that allows me to inspect on, and then eventually I'll get all the clues. My sensors can only detect harmless chemicals in a gaseous state. They can't recreate the calming sensation I remember. Like me, companions can't smell, so I wonder why they do this. There's also a message hidden under the container. Lead with that! It says I'm with... At least put the message together as I find it. Now it makes sense why I was able to go up here. Because there's secrets. Crystals! This gem is of medium value and low purity. The glow seems to have been added artificially. Maybe it acts as a beacon for us to find something useful. Bingo. There is a message that says, I'm with Blazer, come to something. Okay, I could just fall asleep and never wake up until it's all over with and done and then problem solved. That would be the cat thing to do. Oh, it's making that sound for the jump. Anything else? What were the... Oh god, why is my eye so itchy? What were the things? Ah, crap. I don't know what the first one is. Oh, it was a cone on a head. So I got the crystal. The lava lamp is the only one that I haven't gotten, right? The incense, the thing, the lava lamp, and then... Or the cone and then the lava lamp. 
It's not this lava lamp? This one? How many lava lamps are in your house? Oh my god, the camera is a mess sometimes. Maybe there's something in here. Ah. I see. I have no idea what this is, but it's glow is kind of mesmerizing. Sorry, I was elsewhere. <laughs> I didn't even notice this message here. It reads, nightclub. Okay. I'm with Blazer, come to the nightclub. That's it. Well done, Lieutenant Cat. Now let's go find her. We don't have much time. I like the little, meh. We did it. We're so clever. Do I need to sneak past everything again? Oh, now I can probably just jump down though, right? Nice. Excellent! To the nightclub! Wait. Did I read this? DJ Matt C. Or Matt Key? Tonight at the Goro Squared Club. Sometimes I think there's references to things in this that I'm just not getting. My god, what is wrong with my eye? I want to go in here. What is this? The Tokwil Club. Jump in. That's a place for a cat to be. Oh, hey. Howdy, partner. Why don't you come over here so I can get a good look at you? You mean, like, go up there? Can I even? I bet I could. Hello. Can I help? What? There you go. Wonderful! Look at this little cutie! <laughs> That's it! Wait, hold on. There's places to be and things to do. Oh, these aren't gonna let me in. I don't know what the downstairs neighbors are up to. I keep hearing buzzsaw and hammer noises. It's the resistance. They're fighting back. Oh, oh hi! Hey, how'd you get up here? You want to party with us? Here, jump in and go get a drink. Oh, wait, is this how I'm supposed to get into the nightclub anyway? Hell yeah! Let's go! I am gonna get high as a cat. I'm gonna get so high that I'm gonna think I'm a dog. Take strange drink. Dude. What's happening? Oh my god, I'm just doing things that I'm not even aware of. Where the fuck am I? Memory. I haven't been finding many of those. When I was human, my friends and I would gather and party long into the night, even if we had to suffer the annoying consequences the next morning. <laughs> it felt good to find joy despite the unlivable surface. And the underground living conditions becoming more and more squalid. And the capitalistic greed of companies like Nikocor. And the police day created by the Sentinels. Now I remember why we were doing that. <laughs> oh my god, I missed a bunch of them. Yeah, that's fine. They don't really add... As long as they get the main ones and we get the main story. Like, these things are nice little flavor texts, but it's not like... It's not like the story doesn't make any sense unless you find some of those. So it's just to kind of be like, hey, this is what life is like now. Hey, what's up, bartender? Hey, customer, the access to the VIP balcony is closed. Some private biz is going on there. It's been reserved by some blazer guy, I think. That's me! I'm the resistance! Okay, so I gotta get up there. Looking good, blazer. Huh. Boom. Easy. I'm a fucking cat. Never doubt it ever again. <laughs> I'm just in this club 
jumping around in it. Okay, I don't think I can actually get up there from here. Look at my cat moves! I paid extra to get tonight's dance moves from the bouncer. He's the one programming the holograms in his spare time. That's kind of funny. Robots dancing and partying is just like, yeah, everybody download the dance right now, and then they all just go. Okay, can't use any of that. What if I... Okay, that turned that off. What if I fucked up your music? Wait, uh, wait, wait, uh, wait, wait, wiki wig. Uh, yeah, I'm a fucking cat. What you gonna do about that? Yeah, uh, what, what? Daft punk ass looking. <laughs> hey everybody, DJ Matt C here. Let's get the party started. This first song has been requested by our very questionable friend Blazer. Okay, I need a, I need a bass handle or something like that, I think. Oh, dragon head. You like my mask? I made it myself. It jams the sentinel scans and it looks cool. Sure, yeah, it looks cool. Hey, I need that. <laughs> this club sucks. When I tried to go to that stupid VIP room, they kicked me out. Can you believe it? So I stole this lever just for kicks. If you give me a drink, I'll give you this silly lever. Boom. Here you go, as promised. Nice. Thank you. So what happens if I turn off these? Both. Do I get to control the music then? Is it a cat's time to jam? Wait. What was the point? Oh, look at that guy! Siren head! Okay, clearly I need to do more. Asshole just turns them back on again. Give it to the left! Give it to the right! Beep boop, sweep boop! It's called the Zagima dance. Zagima, these nuts, bro. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> I like his dance. <laughs> He's so cute. Maybe it wasn't Zegama dance, maybe it was Zegama. Zegama balls. I can go up top. Hold on, hold on. If I jump up. Yeah. Now launch me. Wait, why did I need this one though? Couldn't I either side of them? Oh, I couldn't get around the speaker if I did that. There's nothing on this side. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that that time. My bad. Okay, bring me up on this one. Oh, this one definitely goes to a better place. What's the point of that one then? Oh wait, that was the one that was already there. That's not the one I got the lever for, that was this one. God, it happened five fucking seconds ago and I can't think about it. What is wrong with me? What happened to my memory, man? <laughs> you kind of look like, um, Alpha from Power Rangers. Ay 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 ay! Remember him? Give it up for DJ Kitty! Okay, that's all clear now. What if I... Alright, which ones do I need down? Is that good? I feel like that's good. Yeah! Who is this dapper fella? Are you with the resistance? I like this music too. Howdy. Raph. I have a very good relationship with the Sentinels. I don't understand why people complain so much about them. 
I don't know. I'm a VIP now. I'm about to get turned! Yeah! This is what humans do, right? They drink all the drinks and then they knock them all over on the ground. And then take no responsibility for their actions. That's what I'm doing. Ugh! Yeah, I'm cool like that. I'm a kitty cat. Whatever. Clementine. Oh no. Is Blazer working against you? Oh, Blazer. Two birds with one stone. You're not as clever as you look, little cat. Anyway, nothing personal. Business is business. <sighs> Hit him with one of those. Hit him with a... <sighs> oh no, I'm crying. I'm playing... Oh no, I'm sweating. <laughs> I love that. I'm such a sucker for like... These types of robot faces that have the emotions written on them. Um, like Calculester from Monster Prom. Who I voice. Business is money, and I value money way more than friendship or camaraderie. They're all yours. Get him, cat. Do a backflip. No! Did you shoot my cat? That's it. It's over. I'm I'm setting off the atomic battery. I'm blowing it all up. From a safe distance, of course. Oh no! Oh, I'm stuck! But not for long! You think this cage can contain me? Never! I am a god in this world! I am the smartest creature you've ever seen! You'll never take me alive! Ha ha ha! Oh no, I'm missing my little cute backpack though. B12, I'm coming! I took my Omega-3s this morning. Now all I need is my B12. You could fit through there. For sure. Definitely. Huh. Nice. God, being a cat is so cool. Why would I ever want to go back to being a person after this? That's <laughs> a jail. <laughs> I'm in a little cat jail. Okay. Is that just going to swing back? Maybe not. Can I jump to this one? Huh. Okay, if I jump back down on this, doesn't that fuck me over? Oh no, I can just get down to the barrels now. Nice! Hell yeah. Who's that? Oh god, he's freaking out. Oh, that's scary, actually. Glitching out all over the place. I always knew it would come to this little cat. I always knew we would go to jail. So it happens when you're the most powerful creature in the universe. People are just scared of our raw power. Okay, probably have to go down to get past you. Now's my chance. Now's my chance. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Mistakes are made. Mistakes are made. Don't shoot me. I'm a cat. Don't shoot me. I technically shouldn't even be allowed to go to jail. Oh, that was easy. Turns out all you have to do is sprint everywhere. And then you get away with everything. <laughs> easy. I think I missed something in there. Oh, well, it doesn't matter if I missed stuff because I don't have B12 to translate it now. Clementine! The key. What is it, Clementine? Sandwich? A finger. Uh, hmm. God damn it. I am just a cat after all. Um, window! Wall! Uh, shit. What do they want? Door. Uh, bagel. If only I had B12 here to translate for me. Oh, this is actually just a straight-up jail. <laughs> I mean, I am in cells and everything in here, but... I didn't expect it to look so stereotypically jail-like. Oh, key! Oh, I get it now. You should have just said that instead of pointing. B12 is good for my brain. 
There you go. Now get yourself out of there. I'm a cat. What else do you want me to do? What is going on with that texture? Are those just screens? To simulate sky? <laughs> That's kind of cool. Alright, where to, Clem? Yeah, stealthy. Here we go. Or make all the fucking noise in the world. Alright, the key just opens everything, doesn't it? Lucky. Where should we go now, Clem? I can't understand you anymore. I don't have a robot companion to translate everything for me. I'm a fucking cat. All I know is snack and lick ass. And sometimes those are the same thing. Yeah, totally unrealistic game, by the way. If this was BB, he would just run along and then suddenly he would stop and lick his own asshole for like five minutes. B12. They've got you in some sort of hyper jail. <laughs> My cat actually is intelligent. We gotta save him! I saved your ass. Okay. How do we bust him out? How do we prison break B12? Boom, ka boom, boom, ka boom, boom. Damn, that key is wondrous. Ooh. Some ominous ass, like, meeting the final boss in Final Fantasy music. <gasps> Shh. Don't make a circuit. Twelve would be able to get through it. He's so cool like that. What are you telling me to do? Go here? There's no snacks in here. God, if only I'd be twelve to translate everything for me. Now I'm just a cat running around not knowing what the hell to do. Oh Christ! This is going to end up in me dying. I should be not left to make decisions on my own. But I am pretty good at it. Okay. Nice. God, I'm an absolute legend. How do we get over that? What if I just play in a box all day? What if I don't save my friend and I just stay in here? <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. Maybe I have to go... Yeah. You go in and then you go out. And then you shake it all about, and then you do the hokey pokey, and maybe turn around. <sighs> no, it's been a while. Uh, get up! Get up! Get up! Oh. God, this is scary. <laughs> Holy God! Nice. You're safe. You're free. Uh-oh. No, he needs his cat friend to paw him back to life. What does that sound? Ooh, I don't like that squelching. Okay, easy does it here, feline friends. I am the world's greatest detective. And I'm a fucking cat. Ah! I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a great detective. I'm actually just, I'm in a box. Don't shoot the box. Nice. Stupid robots. If only you guys had a cat brain, you'd figure this out by now. And I can do this. And then sprint away. <laughs> Hell yeah. Can I just... 
leave? Aren't there lasers here? Ah. I guess I don't need to do that anymore. Nice! Fucking did it! That was clean! B12, you're back! Oh, that's so cute. Yeah! Back in action, baby! I felt like I was trapped in my lab's computer system again. All alone. But you came back for me. I can't believe it. You're a good friend. Hell yeah, I'm a fucking cat. I'm so glad that we were all together again, but we're not safe yet. We need to find a way to get out of here. Can you just open that door right there? Sure can. Let's take with us, Clementine. Cat and the B12? C and the B? We can do anything once we set our minds to it. See that? I ran around that real quick. Anything. Except maybe get through there. I don't know how to do that. That's impossible. There's literally nothing we can do. We're trapped here. We're gonna stay here forever. <gasps> Hold on! Wait! Throw a brick through the window! Anarchy! Chaos! Just like a cat would do. You know a cat would throw a brick through your window if it could. I need- oh, those. Stealth. You're going to have to toss me. <laughs> yeah! God, this cat is incredible. I love this little prison escape. What the fuck do we do about this one? Those sentinels are blocking the way again. They will spot me instantly. Maybe you can try to bait them into those cells and lock them? I guess so. Can I hide in the grass? Oh, yeah. Oh, sentinels! Come on! Come this way! Can't catch me! Can't catch me! Stupid idiot! Ha <laughs> ha ha! There's only one of them! <laughs> oh! What is that sound? I saw you trapped the, these sentinels. Amazing, thank you so much. You're welcome, partner. Just another day in the life of being an epic cat man. Shh, hold on, I'm remembering. This poor fellow. It seems like, it seems that the sentinels are ruthless when it comes to defying them. That's what I feared. They've completely erased him. No more emotions, no more self-awareness. No more memories. Please, let's not get caught. That's terrifying. So I missed five memories in the other area? Okay, open this one first. Here we go. Here we go. Gonna trap these fuckers. Heidi ho You'll never catch me. You'll never catch me. Ow! <laughs> they caught me! Ah! <laughs> Sniped! Okay, how am I gonna get both of them in there? Hmm. Huh. Is it both the same place? Yes. Interesting, interesting. Close the door! Close the door! Close the door! Close the fucking door! Close the door! Thank you. Did you get out? Aw, oh, dicks! I thought he was still trapped. Come on, you can open up that door from here. Got him! Got him! 
got him, got him, close, yeah, baby, that was really rough. <laughs> that was not the way I wanted that to go, but it works out. <laughs> Jeez, oh, that was scary. I wanted to lock one of them in and then go out and get the other one and like lock, unlock kind of stuff and then I just start getting chased. Turns, around, turns out if you just run around in circles, you can get, kind of get away from them. Okay. That's the last time we used to do that, at least. Can you move a little bit faster, please? I'm like sprinting everywhere. Dodging, ducking, stealthing, trapping, shooting. And you're over here like, hmm, maybe I'll open the door. Stay alert, we aren't in the clear yet. Okay, oh. I have to do a thing. I got it. Are you waiting to let me- that was like, no, 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 don't do it! <laughs> this door, it's the only way out of this jail. I think we can open it from that control room over there. We have to find a way to get access to that room though. Let's look around. Oh, I'll find it, don't you worry. I always find it. I'm always the cat doing the work. What if I rode a bike though? Wouldn't that be cool? Hey, Clam, if I rode a bike, wouldn't that be cool? Not even listening to me. Hmm. What if I just stay in the dumpster? Forever. Ooh. There's a key! Hey, Clam, there's a key! Why am I the one being like, hey, key? Just get B12 to talk. <laughs> We're in luck. They left the keys in the door. Hop in the back of the truck. You should be able to jump over the fence to access the secure area. Let's go. <laughs> nice. God, what a duo we are. What a cat you are, Ginger. Anything else other than door? That's bad, right? That sounds bad. That sounds like we're not supposed to do that. Am I gonna jump on the back and we're gonna make a daring escape? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. That's scary. That's super scary. Don't leave it on me. Hey! This is much scarier for me! I can get shot so easily! Hey! Slow down so I can jump in the back! Oh, thank God! Now floor it! Whoo! Wait, where's the cat? I didn't see the cat! Am I in the back? Oh, this is intense! Nice! That was sick! Wait! You're not coming with me? There's no way we'll make it with the sentinels on our tail. I can distract them for a little while, but you have to go. The Outsider's Manifesto says we must go outside at any cost. I wrote that. No! You're one of us now. It's not that everyone has to get to the outside, but one of us has to. So bikey. Go. Go now. I'll keep you in my ram, little outsider. No! Clementine, no! The little like, <coughs> so cute. No. Clementine! Uh, can I ask, by the way, developers, why there's no photo mode in this game where I can take absolutely adorable pictures of my cat at all times? You know people are asking for that. Please put it in an update. Okay, there's nothing going on in here. I was here before. Can I go sleep? There we go. Well... Kinda. Music's sorta shitty. <laughs> Back into the subway, baby. Can I use the train? I want 
want to use the train. Wait, do I actually have to use the train? Put a key in somewhere. I want to use the train. Let me use the train! What's the point of being a cat in a subway if I can't ride a train like a human boy? It's fucking pointless. I thought you were gonna let me put a key in, open up the subway tunnel, then I was gonna sit in the front of the train, hit a button, and then we were gonna be on our jolly way to subway town. Oh wait. <laughs> I tried to use the key. Maybe that is what we're doing! I just have to power it up first! Yes! Oh yeah! That key's going in and we're sailing. This is what a cat's thoughts sound like. Absolute nonsense. <laughs> Let's go kitty cat. Let's go kitty cat. Fuck yeah. Excellent. I'm so happy I got to do this. All aboard! I'm such a cool cat. You know, people are always like, he's a cool cat. They're talking about me. Oh, this is scary though. Control. I'm still convinced I'm gonna be allowed to launch the nukes. Let me add him. This stop, end of the line. Cool sound. I did that, did you see? Wasn't that cool? Enjoy the world's safest city, Walled City 99. Jesus, how many walled cities were there? Hello, how may I help you? Oh, you're just a helper bot. You're not like, self-aware. Are you? Wait, what's on the other side? Whole pile of nothing. I like these reflective floors, though. This is the type of stuff where um, ray tracing and reflections and everything come in really well. Because a lot of games do them, but they have to make their surfaces like extra shiny. Just to be like, hey, look, we have a reflection, which is not accurate at all. It's not realistic at all to do that. This kind of stuff is where you have splotches and blemishes and the reflection kind of like curdles and warps and bends with the shape of the floor and then kind of like fades out actually these could just be screen space reflections instead of ray traced because they disappear i actually think that that is what they are not ray traced at all that's disappointing anyway i'm just talking about reflections in general um usually if reflections disappear like that when you look down it's because they're screen space it's like they only show I think it's because they only show what the camera's showing. So you see now the camera sees the signs, and then when they when the signs go out of frame, then it can't do the reflection anymore. It's the same with the, the subway. It's like it's only reflecting what the camera actually has in frame at the time. They work fine, but as soon as you look at them for any length of time, you're like, oh yeah, that's not accurate. Whoa, this is so clean. Greetings, inhabitant of Wall 99. Wall City 99. Sorry. I messed it up. I am currently painting this area. Please be careful of the wet paint. Have a nice day. You guys are not like the ones down below. You guys are all just actual computers and not smart. Whoa, this is really creepy. Oh my god, I thought that was space that I was looking out into. But it's the, the city down below. Whoa! <laughs> you can see all the textures and the lights loading in. Damn! So there's the big giant wall that I saw in this whole infected area. That's the building I was at down there. That's so wild to look at. And then you can actually just see the top of the wall and the edge of the buildings down there. 
It's like Attack on Titan when they're walled inside. So crazy looking. There's the- is that the prison? Whoa, that was miles away. This is Midtown. So cool that you can see the whole thing. Okay, there's the control room, but I don't want to go in there yet. Hello, little bud. So this is weird, because you can go outside. The city's sealed, of course, but there is, like, a door. Violating the rules of confinement will result in a heavy prison sentence. Greetings, inhabitant of Walled City 99. This door leading to the surface is currently locked due to the confinement procedure. Please refer to any certified engineer inside the control room if you have any requests. Have a nice day. Oh man, we're not going to get to see the outside in this game, are we? I have a feeling it's all just going to be left up to your imagination. Hello, how may I help you? He's <laughs> just cleaning the windows. Hello, my current task is clean the window. Please refer to any certified engineer inside the control room. There are no engineers though. Everybody's fucking dead. I like that the language in this game is kind of an amalgamation of multiple languages. Because they, they said that in the game, right? That it was the human languages, but kind of like all boiled down and then they created their own language out of those ones. Hello, the city has been sealed for your safety. Please refer to... Okay. That's the same voice as Mortis from the Faith games. The control room is closed by some sort of security protocol. It says that only humans are authorized to enter. It also says that I'm not considered human. Hey, that's offensive security protocol. Maybe if we work together we can open the passageway. Okay. What about this little guy? Maybe they'll let him in. Ah, you open that. I do this. I chew all the wires. Uh, excuse me? Wait, you were timed to do that? Oh my god. Nice. Nice. Get it. <laughs> and I helped. Man, I love this. I love, I love like big sterile buildings where like crazy shit happened and then you're, you're kind of just sitting there like, oh, what happened here? And you start like building out all of this lore in your head of who was here, who worked here, what happened, how long ago. It's just classic, uh, like moon base kind of stuff. This is the control room for the entire city. They controlled everything from here and it's empty. I remember hating them so much. They had everything. Clean space, limitless power, freedom to move. Little good it did them. The plague. I remember now. Everyone was dying and they thought they were above it all. They did nothing to help us. There's a lot of that going around in media lately where, like, the super rich leave behind the poor and, like, literally elevate themselves or get on rockets to go to Mars or... Put themselves on boats or yachts. Have you ever seen uh, Love, Death and Robots? That's kind of where the the three robot shorts go. Um, I watched my family die. I felt helpless. I couldn't do anything to save them. But I can still help you. We can still go outside together. I will carry the memories of humanity and the people I loved. Are you really the last human left alive? Well, that's the last core memory, so... I can't go back and get the memories that I missed. Those grayed out ones. Which is fine. Um, I was never going to do like 100% anyway, but... The core ones are the ones that give the most lore anyway. This place is cool looking. This is it, the main computer. Uh, 
According to the mainframe, no one has been here for years. The whole city is stuck in a lockdown cycle from long ago. If we disable it, we should be able to leave. Yeah, because that was the other thing. I don't know, did I mention it in a previous episode? Like, what if the lockdown protocols and everything are just in place and are stuck there, but everything else outside is perfectly livable now? Like, everything is actually back to normal, kind of like a Wally -E situation where... It's like, you guys left because of something horrible that happened, but technically it's okay to come back now. We'll need to bring the rest of these systems online. These computers hold the data we need. We need to turn them on. Okay. While you do that, I look for passwords and encrypted keys to get into the system. You got it, partner! Do I, like, do anything here, or...? These long rows of computers need to be turned on. Do I just go and push buttons? Oh, shit. Okay. Boom. All of those ones are on. You just gotta wake them up, you know? They're stuck in sleep mode. Did it! It worked! Good job, my friend! I found it! I know how to open the city. Do it! Something's off here. Wait, maybe there's a way around it. Roof control station. There. That's the workstation to open the city. But there are several layers of security preventing us from using it. What if I peed on it? Now we need to do what we do best. Me, I'll hack the machines and you destroy some stuff. Sounds fine. What about... this? Nice. Okay, so... Is there like three of those around the room? Yeah, there's another one here. Ah, nope. Wait, how do you just start hacking them then? I don't know what I'm supposed to be breaking if you're not hacking them yet. Can I just break it anyway? Ow. I thought we had to like do it simultaneously again like we did the door. But this works. The, 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 the system is taking more than I expected. Don't you dare die at the end of this. Is it gonna be that I get out but the fucking robot doesn't? Oh no, we've got to keep going. That's exactly what's going to happen, isn't it? I get out and then the guy's like, no, I'll hold him off. I'll close the door. Some sort of bullshit like that. And then he can't get out. Wait, how do I do this one? Screw it, we'll do this one, other one first. Die! Don't worry, I can recharge once we open up that workstation. Okay. But I don't believe you. Oh, it's here. Ah. Hack away, my friend! Hack away! I think, I think this little body is done for. It's okay, I'll be all right. Just carry me to the workstation. We can disable that alarm. <sighs> what if the cat just gets out and the cat has no idea what an accomplishment this was and just goes back to like frolicking and licking testicles with his friends back outside. And all the robots get trapped down here forever. That's it, we're safe. Listen, I have something to tell you. 
I knew the power required to disable the city's central control system would be immense, more than this strong body could handle. But with the security now disabled, I can take control of the system and open the city. Overriding it could destroy my software. But I made that choice when I hooked into that first computer and the consequences it could bring. I'm sorry we won't see the outside together. No! I thought I needed to carry on the memories of humanity to hold on to the past. But I see a future in the companions. And you. Here, let me take that off you. Oh, my backpack! Oh, my fucking pins are on that, man! You are my friend. The very best I could have asked for. Thank you. No! <laughs> the little meow is gonna break my heart! Oh! B12, no! so sad. Oh shit. Oh shit. Everyone down there must be freaking the fuck out. Actual sunlight. Oh, you guys are all gonna get fucking melted. <laughs> Oh, yeah! That's cool. Will it burn off the, all the infection and stuff as well? They just turn off once the thing's open? That's crazy looking. That's so sick. Oh, B12. Oh, I can just lie there if I want. That dude's just 100% dead now, right? That's incredible to look at! Holy shit, is the whole thing gonna open? Damn right it is! That's so cool! Yeah, over there, that's the building I was on, where I was fighting all the Zerks. Yeah, a whole chunk of that area is all infected. I think it's so cool that even though it's a game about a cat and you were like running around the city from that perspective, it's cool to be this high up and see something so magical at the end. Because that's what I wanted. Like this is what more video games should do. You're a fucking video game. Show off cool stuff like this, like giant scale. Obviously if your game doesn't revolve around that then you can't, but... I don't know if I'm supposed to stay here or go somewhere else, but I kind of want to just see this whole thing open. Wow. The trees are like, oh, sunlight, oh, oh, num 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 num. <laughs> that was so fucking dope. City open. The city is actually open. You can freely get in and get out. Does that mean this door down here is going to be open now? Thank god these open up for cats. Could you imagine if the sensors weren't good enough to do that? Don't you dare end this game either when it's like tiny burst of sun credits. You better show me. You better show me the fucking world. Greenery. Oh. 
Wow. I mean, we did get like get a glimpse of it at the start of the game. I know that, but I want to see the world. I don't want to see like in between bits of walls. So many smells. That's not going to show us. I knew that would happen. Excuse me? God, what a good video game. That was so fucking fun. Man, what a unique concept. Heavily enjoyed that. That was really, really, really good. I enjoyed it way more than I thought I was going to. Because I, I said it a bit during the playthrough that when it was announced, I was like... Yeah, gimmicky game about a cat, sure, everyone will go crazy for it because it's just a cat and everyone loves that. And like, that was fine, I, I just figured it wasn't a game for me that... It, whatever, the people who like it will like it, it's just not for me, it's too gimmicky and too, like, on the nose. Um, <laughs> like, all cynical-like about it, like... But then, as it drew closer, I was like, oh, the world looks kind of cool and, like, little robots here and there. Uh, like the little backpack that was on him in the, sc in the screenshots, and then... Now actually playing it and seeing what it was actually like... It's crazy that the cat was such a small part of it for me. I really loved the world design, the... Sort of story that they were building up, that whole idea of humanity being dead forever. And that robots took over and the whole place is sealed off. And like, what's outside? That, that mystery box to me is what's so fun about it. And in some ways, I am a little bummed that we didn't get to see the world at the end of it, but also that's why the ending works too. Because now it's kind of like left ambiguous. In my interpretation, the, the world is actually fine. I think whatever happened, happened so long ago that the world has actually kind of recovered in humanity's absence. That we all died because we destroyed the Earth, we tried to... Oh man, it's so crazy, because so many of this is analogous to real life that's happening right now. We just had 40 degree weather in the UK, in parts of London, over this week. Which is so far beyond what it was before. Oh, cats on the team. It's so far beyond what we had in the UK before, that it's such clear signs that global warming is actually happening. And it's been happening for so long, and we've heard about it for so long, and yet shit never ever ever gets done about it until something bad happens. Like until... Until like a section of the Earth explodes from it or something, then companies will turn around and be like, Fine, we'll change our factories to be more renewable. Because right now it's like you, me, and everybody else in the world try to recycle all the time, but it's such a pile of shit. Because you should recycle anyway, because... I'm of the mindset that every little will help anyway, and it's better to just be in that mentality. But the amount of companies out there that spew garbage out into the world all the time, that it's like, if they changed, then a lot of change happens. But they don't have to, and they don't want to, because it costs too much money to do, and then... Only when something awful happens, like, a whole country blows up as a result of global warming, which, I don't know how that would happen, it probably wouldn't, but... Then it's like, oh, we actually need to do something about it. And then they could probably very easily change their company policies and renewables for that. But until that happens, shit like this, like the apocalypse is like, <laughs> barreling down at us with global warming. Year after year after year, and things like, we're breaking heat records all the time. And because of our waste and everything that's happening, there's actual, like, worms that they've made that will eat styrofoam and that kind of stuff about a bacteria that can break down plastic is a real thing that people are working on and then seeing this and kind of taking that to a big degree where it's like yeah humans are fucking dead because we didn't act in time then all of this shit that we made to try and help ourselves backfired ruined us and then a plague went around that we couldn't handle 
COVID being a good example of that, human resilience for that was incredible, and all the vaccines and everything. And it was remarkable how quick that stuff was made, but still, millions of people died before that had to happen. And then, it's only a matter of time before a very, very lethal thing comes around and, like, wipes us all out. So, a lot of the stuff that... Oh, God. A lot of the stuff that the game is talking about is very real-world scenarios that can happen. So, it's interesting to see it put into practice like that and see robots kind of rule the world. And then it's like, well, you just have cats running around now because cats just survived anyway because they didn't have any part to play in the big grand scheme of humanity. Um, but, yeah. It's all very scary stuff, but it is interesting to see their take on it for this game. And I'm glad that the world was that much bigger. That it wasn't just, oh, it's a cute cat running through and, like, you paw things off a table. You scratch things. You're an asshole to a couple of people. Like, they could have done that. It was so easy to do a game like that and have it be a couple of hours long. But have no substance to it. And that's what I thought the game was going to be when I first saw it. And I'm glad it wasn't. It was so much more deep and thought-provoking than it could have been. And then you had those massive vistas at the end with, like, the city all below you. Like, that shit's so cool. There's so much effort gone into this game. The art direction was phenomenal. The animations were absolutely phenomenal. Because not only on the cat, you can tell they put a lot of work into the way the cat moves to make it realistic looking. Um, which I guess is to be expected for a game all about a cat. But... The animations on all the robots was really, really good, too. And I'm wondering if a lot of that was mo-capped, because there's some stuff like the canned animations when the guy came over to pick up the box, and then the guy was like, eh, whatever. That it was it was too accurate to have been hand-animated, so it, I feel like a lot of it was mo-capped as well. And now I'm curious if they ever mo-capped an actual cat. I would love to see it behind the scenes and how the whole thing was made, because it's, it's a fascinating game, but... Art direction, visual design was phenomenal. The lighting, um, the texture work and everything was top notch. Uh, the sort of level design and the way it was all kind of held together was very believable and very, very cool to look at. Just like a couple of lights here to add depth in the distance goes a long way. The sort of art direction in that regard. The sound design was really good. The music was really good. I There's very little I can fault the game on. A couple of the stealth sections near the end got a little like, eh, because the contextualized buttons like jumping up on something instead of jumping into something and then running past something, trying to press square on it to close the door. Like some of that stuff got a little finicky, but it wasn't enough to kind of break the experience. It's not enough to really detract from the whole thing. Um, and I am glad the game is as short as it is because you could have done like 10, 12 hours of this, but it would have got really tedious and really dragged out and really boring. So it's like, the game does just enough with the mechanics it has, doesn't overstay its welcome, gets the job done, tells the story and gets out. And all the characters are so lovable as well, the writing was really good. Like, everybody on the team, really, really excellent work. Such a fantastic experience to go through. Um, and it's a world that I want to know more about. And even if we never do, that's a good sign, because it means that you had enough intrigue in there that I want to dig deeper into it, so... Who knows, maybe they'll do a stray too that's out in the wild or outside or maybe they'll do something with the robots or maybe they'll do another cat that's trapped in the city after the thing was opened or... Who knows, even if they never did anything again, you knocked it out of the park with this one and I'm very happy with it. I hope you guys were happy watching this series. I'm glad I did it. Uh, let me know what you thought about the whole thing down in the comments below. Let me know what you thought about your theories about the world. Because I think, like I said, humanity's been gone for so long that the Earth just healed. Like, our influence wasn't enough to fuck it up anymore, so after, like, however many millions of years, or... Somebody will put a lore together, a, a video together of the whole story that will collate the actual timeline better, because I didn't really understand it when I was playing it, because... Again, for some reason, my brain just could not parse information playing this. Um, <laughs> I've just been tired lately, okay? I've had back issues, I haven't been sleeping well. Um, but th that's neither here nor there, but... It is interesting to know, like, if we if we left the planet, Earth would kind of be fine without us. Um, and I think it's been so long that the cat went outside and is like, yeah, everything's fine. The green the greenery is back. Earth is thriving again. Um, 
Very interesting game. Anyway, that's gonna do it for me. Thank you guys so very, very much for watching. There's plenty more stuff that I've played on the channel that you can go watch. Plenty of other series. Go watch God of War or something if you haven't seen that yet because the, the sequel's coming out at the end of the year and I'm gonna be doing a full series on that as well. Last of Us 1 remake comes out in September. I'm gonna be playing that too, but hopefully we have something in between. It's very few and far between for these bigger, like, exciting games this year. Um, but towards the end of this year, it's going to get crazy again, so I'm very excited for that. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in whatever else you want to watch after this. Thank you.